formal resolution stating his council's opposition to the petition of the pepper way of this measure on the November ballot. If passed, this measure would impose an admissions tax of 8% for the purchase of the uh, purchase and lease of land construction, maintenance, and operation of a boys and girls club in Commerce City. I want to be quite clear. I personally, and I believe this city, is fully supportive of the boys and girls clubs. And we see great value in their programming. However, it is my belief that this is not the way to pursue the funding necessary to build a, a building for this club. A proper capital management program has yet to get off the ground, which, by the way, is the right way to go about this. Seeking voluntary participation from the community, not seeking to impose a tax on tickets without first working to establish a dialogue with boys and girls clubs and the businesses impacted by the proposed measure. Furthermore, it is my understanding that the organizers of the yet to occur Maryland Music Festival are already talking about seeking an alternate location for next year's festival in anticipation of a potential passage of this measure. If this council shares my sentiment, then I move that staff draft a resolution for our review as soon as possible. I will add to my comments that I, I completely and fully appreciate the, uh, the, the zeal of our community to try and uh, speed the construction of a, of a facility for the Boys and Girls Club. I just am deeply concerned of the potential unintended consequences of this measure or this approach to resolving this measure. Okay. So I have a request for a consensus strictly at this time to have staff um, wordsmith some kind of a resolution. Mr. Gallagher, before I go into the consensus, I just want to hear from you that this is something that can be done and does not interfere with anything that may come before this council in a future time. Um, first of all, it's under council business, and this has been a duly advertised meeting, so I think we can proceed. As I understand, it's a motion to direct staff to prepare the, the resolution. Um, and if I may ask a question in that regard, Mr. Bishop, yes, sir. Uh, before you adopt the motion, is it a motion to oppose the, uh, the initiative petition, or is it a motion to take no position regarding it? I'm open to either. I think the key to my motion is that we need to send a message to this council is not advocating this tactic to achieve this end. The, and, and this, the resolution can be drafted in, to address either approach. Uh, so before we vote on it, we really need clarification on it. Okay, Mr. Michael Downey, this would pretty much be your call. Uh, I'm open, as I just said, to wording this as a, as a, not advocating the, the position. So whether that means to take no position, I think uh, I'm saying we take a position that says we do not advocate. All right, the work resolution can be worded to that effect. It, it's not quite as strong as saying we oppose it. What you're saying is, is that you're not advocating uh, support of the, uh, of the petition drive. Okay. Mr. Lewis, you want to comment before I go down the line? I'm just going to go down the line anyway, sir. Yes, I do want to comment. Uh, I think this would be better handled internally than uh, to put this out as a motion. I will not be able to support the consensus. This, Mr. McAdamy, uh, your request for consensus. <coughs> Mr. Johnson. I agree. Okay. Mr. Lewis. No. Mr. Jacob. Yes, opposed. Ms. Snyder. Yes, opposed. Ms. Jotar. Yes, opposed. Mr. Benson. You know, I'm in kind of a strange position here because I've given my word to the mayor and the city manager that I'm not going to take a position on this issue from this seat on the city council. I'm going to live up to my word even though apparently that promise was only extracted from me, the sole council person from whom that promise was extracted. And I'm going to live up to my word on that. And I'm not going to take a position on this consensus. I don't think it makes any difference because it's not a matter that's being handled by the council anyway. I knew that the council was against this. It doesn't make any difference. But if you all want to draft a resolution, please state that I didn't take any position on it whatsoever. As I have promised the mayor, City manager that I will not do for my seat here on the council. Mm -hmm. 
If I may, Mr. Mayor, let's, yeah. let's clarify the proceedings here for the sake of the minutes. First of all, as I understand, it's a motion on the floor that needs to be seconded uh, before the vote is taken. Okay. In all fairness to Mr. Benson, uh, I'm aware of the fact that he has signed a, uh, a, uh, a notice of intent to circulate this petition. So I think it would be uh, appropriate for him to ask for council's permission to abstain from voting since he's already taken a position as an individual regarding the uh, circulation of the petition. So if he can either ask the council to abstain from voting or on the other hand remain silent in that event under the charter it counts as a yes vote. Okay. Mr. Benson. Well, I don't want to abstain. I want to be excused from voting. I know that the council probably will vote to not allow me to do that. But I want to make it clear, and I want it to be in the minutes, that I'm not taking any position whatsoever from my seat up here on this council on this issue, as I have promised the mayor and the city manager that I would not do. And like I said, that promise was only extracted from me and no other council person, but I'm going to live up to my word on that. I don't want to be, I don't want to abstain because that is a guess what. I want to be excused from voting. Well, let me, let me that. clarify that. Yeah. By abstaining with approval of the council, it's not a yes vote. It's not counted as a vote. If you don't vote without the approval of the council not to vote, it's counted as a yes vote. However, that, uh, however the council wants to handle that, it makes no difference to me whatsoever. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get a motion and a second to okay. let him I'll abstain. Him to abstain. Okay. Can we... Then we have to go back to that after we let him abstain. So, probably you don't want to be making that motion, is that correct? I will let you make that motion. Okay. Do you want to make a motion to allow... Uh, Mr. Okay, Benson, to, to, move to allow Mr. Benson to abstain from this vote. Okay. okay. Second. And a second from Mr. Lewis. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed the same. Okay, motion passes. Mr. Benson, you will be allowed to abstain, which will not count as a yes or a no vote. All right, sir. That's very much appreciated. Okay, thank you. Now I have a motion on the floor. <coughs> Mr. Snyder, did you want to make a second to Mr. McEldowney's motion? Yes, I do. Okay, so I have a motion for Mr. McEldowney and a second for Ms. Snyder to request staff to do the resolution for our next regular meeting, is that correct? For our next regular meeting where the vote will actually take place. Can I do a voice vote or do I need to do... A voice vote's appropriate, okay. but... Uh, if anyone asks for a roll call vote, they can ask for it, and then it should be granted. So, Ms. Jurkar? Um, This is just for a comment, discussion. Um, Mr. Benson, I did not know that you made that promise. And uh, uh, I remember when you ran for office, and uh, there were some questions. Uh, you had another petition, and you wanted council to speak from their seat, and I believe that you have every right to do that. So I just wanted to tell you that. I didn't know that you made that promise till just now. I would ask that this vote be a roll call vote. Okay. We will make a roll call vote then. Ms. Power, do you want to do it by machine or by voice? I'm sorry, we'll have to do it by um, voice because I sure. don't have it programmed into our voting system. Feel free to start somewhere. I will start uh, on the left and work my way down. Um, Councilman Benson? Yeah. Is abstaining? Yeah. Councilwoman Jotar? Yes. Councilwoman Snyder? Yes. Councilman Jacob? Yes. Mayor Natal? Yes. Councilman Lewis? No. Councilman Johnson? Yes. And Councilman McElhone? Yes. So what has been directed now is strictly 
to, to do the resolution. This is not the passage of the resolution that will be done at our next city council.